We're here at Wicket 2012 in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Mr. Andres Piazza, who is Public Affairs Officer for LACNIC, the Internet Advisory Registry for Latin America and the Caribbean region. Mr. Piazza, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. I wanted to start off by asking you about uh, your impressions of Wicket 12 so far. Okay, the conference uh, has been really great. Uh, we have been uh, participating in the preparatory processes as well, so we have been uh, looking forward to, for this to, to happen since a long time. And uh, the conference is uh, really, really intense, but a great experience, a, a great exchange of information and engagement uh, with the government uh, officials. So uh, it's, I'm very glad, very glad to be here. And what are going to be the most pertinent points of Wicked for you? Well, first of all, uh, coming with uh, LACNIC, uh, it's the Internet Addresses Registry. We assign uh, the number of resources for our region, and we are a membership, membership organization with uh, almost 3,000 members from the big operators to the public operators and um, cooperatives, universities in, in the region. So we come with a, a pers perspective from our membership uh, coming here and addressing issues, well, uh, mostly related to the internet, but also we, our, our region is part of the CITEL and the countries of, from CITEL. They came with a interesting leadership in many matters. Uh, they had a, a good in understanding about the, the internet environment and how it should be and the scope of the wicked. And also they addressed it and other issues regarding telecommunications and the concerns of the region. So it was, it was a, a very interesting also. Wicked 12 has been attracting a, a lot of attention. What for you are going to be the most positive aspects coming out from this conference? Well, actually, as you mentioned, uh, the, there has been a lot of concern in the internet community regarding the openness of the process and from the perspective of, of the internet organization uh, that has bottomed up consensus and uh, the multi-stakeholder model um, with ev everyone can participate just without, uh, with uh, in their interest and in full time with access to all the information, the, f the, the bar for us is set very high, but it's I'm very glad to, to see that a multilateral global treaty conference has this level of transparency with a live webcast, with captioning, with documents available. So uh, it's a very positive aspect and I hope the ITU keeps this way in the future. And what's your vision for the future of telecommunications in the uh, Latin America and Caribbean region? Well, the, the, the perspective for the future is uh, also very, uh, it's, it's really well for us. We have a good internet penetration, the telecommunication services are growing. This will keep in the same uh, way in the future, not only because the users are growing, which will be, but also uh, the, the region, the network will grow a lot because of the dispositives that will be connected and the traffic and, and the new type of interactions that would be uh, combined uh, with all these factors. So the, the, there will be a lot of uh, growing for the network in the future and we hope to be there to, to help this process to, to achieve. And finally, what are the outcomes you hope to see come from Wicket 12? Okay, well, um, we, have, uh, we are expecting to, to see whatever out outcome comes from Wicked. Uh, we hope uh, that it has a uh, base of consensus because uh, there's nothing more global than telecommunications uh, worldwide. So I hope uh, this has some global consensus in the outcome. And I, of course, from the side of, of the Internet, I hope this consensus understands the Internet environment and the way it has been developed uh, during these whole years. Mr. Andres Piazza, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you very much.